let's have a look at the weather, shall we? Kay is here with <laughs> crutch handily placed to help you walk over at the end. i my new weather prop. You've only got one, though, tonight. That's I know, I'll be brave. You know, step in the right direction. Good. <laughs> Hello there. Good evening. Uh, now then, rain has already started. Let's just take a quick look at how it's been today. Skies like this for many of us. Uh, a lot of clouds in Poynton this morning. Thanks for sending that picture in. Did brighten up, actually, though. We saw some decent spells of sunshine, some blue sky in Chester. It looks really pleasant there. But not the scene we've got now, I'm afraid. We've got a front. It's already worked its way over. We're already seeing some heavy downpours from that. And it is going to rattle through quite quickly, but there will be a fair amount of rain on that. And then just look to the west. Nothing really changes as we go through this week. So we are going to continue to see showers or longer spells of rain. Take it easy if you are heading out and about on the roads as we head through this evening and overnight tonight. Particularly on Pennine routes, the hills for Cumbria, where we're expecting to see the most amounts. Most of us will become dry during the early hours and it is still mild, 8 or 9 degrees. For some of us, that is the average daytime high. Now, waking up tomorrow morning in the Isle of Man, I can't keep looking at my crutch. <laughs> it's dry, it's fine, and actually the best of the sunshine will be first thing for all parts, actually, a pleasant start to the day. But we'll see cloud generally bubbling up with that shower uh, comes through. Those showers are likely to be heavy. As they clear to the east, you could even hear some thunder, see some lightning. And they'll rattle through, though, on a very strong and gusty wind. Now, it is a southwesterly, so we are still mild, about 12, 13 degrees, but it will feel colder than that, particularly for coastal parts where we could well get gusts of about 45, 50 miles per hour. I've just skipped across a couple of days to get us towards the end of the week because you can see we're starting to lose that milder air. We're drawing down a northerly. There is some talk of seeing some wintry showers. They're expected in the forecast for the beginning of next week with an overnight frost Sunday into Monday. So keep an eye on the forecast. As we go through Thursday, it's still a showery setup. So showers or longer spells of rain. In between them, you'll see some bright spells. It's still quite breezy as well as we head through uh, Thursday and just still clinging on to those temperatures above average around about 11 or 12 degrees. And that takes us to the end of the week and it remains unsettled, I'm afraid. We're still looking at showers. Let me just grab that and I'll get over to him. <laughs> we've, we've all been looking at your crutch. We have no option. <laughs> I was hovering over the Peak at. District for most of the, <laughs> most of the weather forecast. Um, listen, while you hobble across, have a quick look at this fella. He's 40 years old, good look age, isn't he? Uh, Ollie, he's mm. now, he's at Blackpool Zoo. He celebrated his 40th birthday with carrots and cabbage. He's been oh, at the zoo since he was one, and he's yeah. now officially one of the world's oldest emus. Same and age as me. Same age as you. Yeah. Possibly quicker. Well, Roger, you'll find out all about that next week, because, Roger... I've arranged for you to go to Blackpool Zoo next week. <laughs> Have you really? You're going to be a trainee zookeeper. You're going to meet yeah, Ollie. You're going to race him. No, I'm not having a laugh. And meet you know his partner, Maggie. You threatened that you were going to get me back for See, sending that's what you they call payback, Roger, cold water swimming in Windermere. You've really done me up there. Well uh, done. Where are you, Wellies? I had no Practice idea. Practice your speed. I, sh I shall be just like, uh, like Johnny Morris. What's the word? I will. Um, have a lovely...